what's up what's up people? now ladies and gentlemen I have did videos talking about certain things that doesn't make no sense to me and I actually did a video months ago about deadbeat fathers now this story is different from what I've done before the guy that you see I feel bad for this dude because I feel bad for him for what he is going through he his name is John Wyatt he was with this girl ever since that was in middle school loved this girl ever since been together through middle school high school they dated when she went to college he didn't they both graduated from high school and they've been together ever since he finds out that she's pregnant and he was happy he didn't care if he didn't have a college education he didn't care if he had to work 25 damn jobs just to take care of that child he was going to be a father to that baby now this guy's busting his ass today and I don't think this man should be doing that because <laughs> he wants to be a father so when the girl his ex-girlfriend gave birth now what it is when his girlfriend his baby's mama was acting a little bit strange while she was pregnant with his child with his little girl this man wants to be a father now with his little girl he sits there and he wants to take care of her. he wants to be there for her he wants to kiss her boo-boos he wants to teach her to walk Tom be there for birthdays Christmases walk her down the aisle be a father to that child and he cannot even do it he's 23 years old y'all and he wants to be a father 23 year old there, I know there's a lot of women out there saying oh my, I can't get my damn baby daddy to take care of one of his kids and this is one of the men that want to be a father you don't find many of these guys out there where they want to step up to the place and say hey I'm going to take care of my child you don't find many of them today, today. but he is one of them where he wants to take care of of his child. He lives in Salt Lake City. Not Salt Lake, but Virginia. Something like that. He lives in like Virginia, uh, Jersey. Like, yeah, Virginia or Jersey, something like that. And his girlfriend, his baby's mama, was acting a little bit too strange around him. Like, okay. Sending him weird text message about adoption about Utah that him and his baby mama never been to Utah never been to Utah never been to fucking Utah and, she, and his baby mama brings up Utah why is she bringing up Utah that's what he was asking that's what I was asking couldn't figure out why so the guy was working his ass off trying to trying to be a good father wants to be a good father the woman gives birth to the baby he's gonna name the, he was gonna name his daughter Emma after his grandmother her grandmother the little baby's grandmother and so the guy went to go check but no what happened was he called the girl's house and she didn't pick up the phone was off the hook and everything and he thought something was on her phone was never off the hook what is going on he's panicking like what is happening to my girlfriend he was gonna marry the girl too because he was having he had the baby he wasn't gonna marry because she was having his baby he loved the girl that he wanted to marry her so the guy sits there and tells his mom mom something's up she's not picking up her phone's off the hook everything her mom, his mom calls the hospital and asks about the girl about did she give birth to the baby they said yes she was in the hospital so he runs down there John this character right here runs down to the hospital to 
see his baby girl and the people at the desk was lying to him keeping him from him 50 feet away from him she was sneaking out the back door 50 feet away from him his baby's mom was sneaking out the back door with his child to take to Utah to give up for adoption he didn't know that his daughter was 50 feet away from him he didn't get to see her didn't get to hold her didn't get to see her smile or nothing nothing this man didn't get to have nothing this man has lost everything in his, in his past. His father committed suicide when he was 10 years old. And he wanted to fill them shoes of being daddy to his daughter. And he can't even have that because his baby's mama was foolish to give up his child without his consent. Y'all probably asking, what does Utah have to do with this? Well, in Utah... In Utah, you can go down to Utah and give a child up for adoption. doesn't matter if you're the parent or not. They don't give a damn if the child is kidnapped or not. If you give that child up, it's up. That's the law in Utah. When I heard this law, this is on Dayline. Y'all can check it out. It's on Dayline. This is true. I'm not bullshitting you. <laughs> so, his mom... When his mom came there, there was bullshit lying to her and him. So, he searched all over that damn hospital and went to the records room. And he told the person in the records room what was going on. And that person was outraged and gave this man the information he needed. He said, your baby's been taken to Utah. Yeah, she was here. Your baby's been taken to Utah. He couldn't figure out why was his child taken to Utah, why did his child get taken away from him, why. He didn't do nothing wrong, he was working, he was a loving man, he didn't do nothing wrong, he hasn't been in jail, he's sitting there working his ass off, he said they want to support his child. So he goes through all this hell. And he lives on the east coast of this the country, and Utah's on the west coast. Now, his child is born in the place where he's from. But she's in Utah. Why like y'all keep y'all say, why is he in Utah? Well what happened was the service that the child that the child got put up for adoption was was called a art of love. That's the that's the service called called the art of love. And this guy he drove down to Utah and there was two hotels that this person kept going to, jumping back and forth to. And one of them, actually one of the hotels, gave him the information on who was doing it. And actually a worker that worked for this company, The Art of Love, that was doing it, jumping around to hotel to hotel to keep this man from finding them. This man wants his child back. This man wants to take care of his child, wants to be there for her. He wants to walk his child down the aisle. He can't even do that now. And so he sits there and he falls. Gets a good lawyer. Trying to help him out. It's like, man, I, I got hope for this man. I Even I got hope for this man. I talked about deadbeat dads that don't want to have nothing to do with kids. I'm talking Now I'm talking about a man that wants to have everything to do with his child. I'm talking about a man that wants to hear her, his daughter speak her first word see her go on her first date be there when she gets married see his grandkids grow up and he can't even do that because how things are going in Utah <laughs> now he goes down to Utah trying to because he went he was up in where he, in what Virginia yeah Virginia he was finding all these claims to get his child back oh I'm gonna get my child back I'm gonna get my child back I'm going to get my child back. I'm going to get my child back. The courts in Virginia kept ruling for him. Giving him custody. Temporary custody. And every time they, every time the courts ruled in his favor, Utah Utah courts ruled in the adopted parents' favor. I'm mad. Like, why are you overturning a ruling? He wants his kid back. He wants to raise the kid. And every time he ruled, every time the judging 
Virginia ruled, they overturned it in Utah. So he goes down to Utah, trying to fight for his child, trying to get her back. <laughs> trying to get his child back. So he goes down there, and he's trying to get her back through the court system and all like that. And to find out, there was four other guys that went through the same issues with him. There was one guy where that his girlfriend lying to him said I had a miscarriage but she gave birth to her child months ago and gave it up in Utah lying to this man then months later he tells oh I gave your child up for adoption I never miscarried another guy got same thing 19 year old kid wants to be a father now his girlfriend gives the child up dude's fighting for it he's not gonna get that child back so this guy is fighting for his child this guy right here, John, fighting for his child. He's fighting hard. No. To me, yes, kid. To me, it's like this: yes, if it, somebody comes to you, Tony, gives up a child for an adoption, and you don't do the paperwork, and you just put the child up for adoption, and let somebody adopt, that is kidnapping. If Utah is the only state where they allow this to happen, then I think Utah is allowing kidnapping to go on I think Utah is allowing people to kidnap kids and bring them down to Utah and put them up for adoption so people can make a dollar off these kids if parents has got to go through this every day because Utah want to be silly with their laws then they need to take a step back and realize hey we're stealing people's kids because they're not they're only getting one side one parent's consent without getting the other parent's consent and that's only the mother's consent they're getting they're not getting the fathers they're not getting whoever they just getting one side <laughs> and it's a shame that this man is going through this every day he's fighting for it and then there's a judge uh, then there's a lawyer that the adopted parents got that actually helped create the law in Utah where a mother can give a child up for adoption. A lawyer, the adopted parents hired this lawyer that created the law for Utah. To me, the dude should have excused himself because how can you hire a lawyer to help create a law in one state? That is favoritism, people. It's favoritism. Oh, hi, Jim. How you doing? Oh, thanks for the law. We got that law that you came up with and we passed it off. It's a good law. No, that is favoritism. You backing this man, this lawyer up. There's another lawyer that's actually got five kids. Two of them are his and the other three are adopted. And it's sad to see that this man cannot even get his child back because his girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend, his baby's mama gave her baby up without telling him and the paperwork goes like oh you gotta tell him ahead of time he didn't know she said oh I'm going to she didn't say I'm going to Utah or nothing she just said she's thinking about Utah and they said that's a good enough warning that's not good enough for warning to tell this man I'm going to Utah and I'm giving your child up for adoption and you can't say nothing about it the man don't even have a word to say I object hold on I want to take care of the baby let me get full custody nothing this dude is still fighting the day for it. Every day that he's fighting for his child to get her back. <laughs> he's still fighting to this day. And, sh and his child had just turned one year old. He missed a birthday. He missed Christmas. This man's fighting for his child. And no, and, and the four guys that went through the same issue, the same thing he did, they're now backing him up. Now, that's kind of wrong to do to a person, a man that's actually want to be a father to his kids, is sit there and take his child away from him and go down to Utah and give it up for adoption. To me, like I said, Utah is allowing kidnapping to happen. If Utah is want to, if Utah want to be a, a state where they allow kidnapping to happen, then that's not a state. That's not justice. That is, that is hatred. That is wrong. That is wrongdoing to do somebody like that because of what what one person said. You do to me. It's like this. Where I'm from is you got to have both parties involved. Where I'm from is I'm from Tennessee. 
you get when if you want to give up a child, you gotta have both parties involved. Not just one, but both. Not just one, but both. You tell them just one. Father, it does to them. Father doesn't matter. Anybody can walk in with the child and say, "Hey, I want to give this child up for adoption." Oh, it's not mine, but I'm gonna give it up for adoption. See, Utah is allowing that. Utah is allowing that. But to me, it is kidnapping. No, no matter no if ands or buts about it, that is kidnapping, and Utah is allowing it. And that's how it is. And this has been Afro Joe, ten like it is. If you like what I got to say, tell me what you think in a comment or a video response. If you don't like what I got to say, then move along to somebody else who gives who who gives into the, who loves negativity. To me, I don't. But to me, this guy did not deserve to go through this. He did not deserve to go through this, where his daughter has been taken from him because of Utah's laws, where a lawyer came up with the law that uh, only one parent can give, say, can give, yes, I want to give it up, or no, I don't. Now that the baby's mama is feeling guilty for giving up the child, this man is going through hell, and I don't think he should be going through it. Please support this man. His name is John Wyatt, W-Y-A-T-T. -T. Support this man. Help him out, people. This has been Afro Joe. Tell me what you think.